Morning and welcome to another vlog from me, Mali Photography. I doubt this will ever go out. Famous last words. So my original plan was over at New Brighton, but the tide it just wasn't high enough. It had gone out quite quick and it was still dark. So I've rushed over to West Kirby with the marina that I've wanted to come here for some time and realising that we could get a sunrise I, I, the, the plan, the weather forecast, everything, the tide I had it all worked out and it just goes to show that best laid plans can go wrong in a blink of an eye just didn't quite have the tide at New Brighton and I thought, right, worst close I need to get the direction, photo pills on get the direction of the sunrise and here we are at the marina at West Kirby and it, it could happen it's cold we're a bit sheltered here so hopefully you can hear me it could happen this can you see that right let's get set up it is trying so hard to catch and give us some fire but the pink's quite beautiful anyway I've had to rush and set up <laughs> I'll talk you through the long exposure when this is finished because it, it is trying so we'll run through some of the details on how I'll get this shot it's meant to be a creative morning it's meant to be a creative uh, shot minimalist long exposure you see all these shots don't think for one second they're straight out of camera far far from it right so it's a struggle we've had some amazing color in the sky but the whole premise of today was long exposure photography and it is blowing a gale I have a feeling some of these shots could be soft so the three rules <laughs> keep it still keep it steady and make sure that focus is right and I ain't getting any of them right today focus is right but keep it still keep it steady even on this Ben Row, uh Alan we're calling him if you remember Alan Benro, he's doing all right actually. He's quite solid, and uh, it's the filters on the front. Even with a screw in, if you've got a 16 to 35, your lens is gonna vibrate, and it's whipping across, and it's ice cold. And I am considering why am I? I am considering why am I doing this? But I guess that's what makes the best shots as always as you've found out in previous videos from home fell and going up high street conditions were horrendous this this is all got me got me trainers on chilling so this is easy just the wind can't quite get it to calm but if you look over here now we're still getting light in the distance unbelievable sunrise this morning over at New Brighton just nothing was happening and I think it's around six miles away to here boom we got the sky and what a view Lynn Luxon fellow vlogger has done some amazing shots here and Stephen McNally a friend of mine amazing photographer he's also took some wonderful shots here and uh, I'm kind of just uh, putting my own spin on it as we all do and I'll take you through some of the steps in a bit when I, when I get warm right so we'll take you through some settings got the tripod quite high just so I'm looking down on the jetty a bit more more detail and coming lower 
than coming lower and having a shallow uh, view of, of the interest which is leading you out. Uh, I've only got F11, it's got quite bright now, I even started at F11 using bulb. 10 stop not required this morning, a 6 stop was quite enough to smooth out the water. Of course it's getting brighter now as we're heading into the morning and the sun's up. It's still blanketed by all this cloud and we're still getting colour. It looks fantastic. But at the minute I'm at F11 shooting bulb on about um, 40 second exposure. I've polarised and unpolarised. You might find that to get that white creamy look, don't polarise. Uh, it'll smooth out the water and you'll get a glassy effect. But it, as we're getting glare now from what light there is bouncing off the clouds, I've polarised on this shot just to take that away and give it a bit more depth around the jetty because we've moved to the left now. We're not straight on. And uh, that's pretty much it, really. Check your exposure times, practice. You can get these little cards and you can look up. Uh, it's three stops, it's six stops or whatever. Uh, for me, I'd love to just feel my way, find my way. I, you know, once you've done a few, you get used to what the light is and thinking, right, yeah, that's going to be about a minute exposure. We'll, we'll try it, you know. I've got a grad on as well to bring the sky down because what, what can happen is with a long exposure, you can be taking the shot and blowing out the sky. And I like to keep the detail and just smooth it out a bit. For a minimalist f feel, you, you could go completely flat. You could high key, blow out. It's entirely up to you. Experiment with it, play around. Today, I, qu I quite like the clouds and I like the movement I'm seeing in the clouds. So we're, we're keeping them in and uh, I've just got a soft edge three stop grad. Right, I'm freezing. When you get a high tide here, around 9 metres, 10 metres, the water comes up over this level. You can come on here with the wellies on and get this shot. There's so this one as well, it fills up and you just get the smoky water effect running all around the aluminium tubes. I've seen it talk a few times, it's, very, uh, it's a very good shot, minimalist shot. It's not my bag, I don't normally go for that kind of thing, but now I've found it, we might knit back. So we've stepped over here, walked from where I right on the other side of the marina, and I'm getting this long exposure shot now of this mud like flank that's twisting and winding its way. And I'm just going for nothing but cloud movement. A third of the land with this leading you over to, I think it's Mostyn, because Talaka's only down there. There's a lovely lighthouse, bent lighthouse at Talaka. If you get it from the right angle, it doesn't look bent. It, it kind of leans. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good place to shoot though. And it's one of the lighthouses I've still not got. As you can see, I've been collecting a few. So right in that peninsula is Talaka, coming round is Flint and Mostyn and this is taking us over to those hills. We're getting some beautiful light coming on the farmer's fields now over there, but look at this. What more could you ask for? So remember, keep it still, keep it steady, get that focus. As for exposure times again, and I know a lot of people are going to say, what is he talking about? Don't worry. If you're shooting digital, 
experiment, under it, overexpose, high key, low key, play around. You don't need a piece of paper to tell you how long to expose for. Just think about the light, think about what you're using. I had a six stop on all morning. I didn't go above 40 seconds or above a minute. And, I, and I've got just, just right. Uh, my first exposure I think was around F11 and uh, I'm really happy with it. it. It was 40 seconds, F11, ISO 50. And uh, it, don't worry about it too much. Keep the exposures how you, how you, you like it, experiment. <laughs> Just isn't quite high enough the tide. You definitely needed that breeze to bring it over. Just, just off getting it. I've got some shots anyway, and we'll tie all this vlog together. West Kirby Marina is a place I'll be coming back to because I haven't quite got what I, I wanted. Um, there are a couple of shots you'll see batted about by a few photographers that. It, I think Gary Goff did one here where he got the water coming right over and all the aluminium rails surrounded by water along exposure. It was a beautiful shot. And that's kind of what I've come here for today, but with my own uh, tilt on it, if you like. But it's just not quite high enough. And to be, I, I could think it's going out. I think it's dropping slightly. I think we've got to the peak. So I'm going to try some experimental shots looking straight down the pier with the cage and see what we get. We're going to round it up here. I'll just add this on to the other. I just I didn't quite feel that the rest of the vlog you've watched at the beginning when we had the sunrise wasn't enough. And although I didn't get what I wanted, as I've said, it's not a failure. I've learned quite a bit here and I've seen some compositions that I wouldn't normally think about. Which at the end of the day, they're going to be the ones that might work the best. Original, if you like. If you like what you've seen, hit subscribe. And if you want to see more, hit that notification bell. There's only one thing left to say, and that's, see there.